I am here with Janneke Sistad Jakobsen, the director of Turn Me On God Damn It, which had its premiere this evening at the Tribeca Film Festival. She's going to talk to us for a couple of minutes. So I read that you are a documentary filmmaker and that this was your first narrative feature. So can you tell us a little bit about why you switched and what made you interested in features? Uh, I think, uh, yeah, I love documentaries, and, uh, but I really love the, what I'm interested in with film is uh, visual storytelling. And uh, I don't think there has to be a big difference between fiction and documentary. And uh, I think I wanted to make uh, fiction because I wanted uh, more control over the circumstances. That I knew what people were going to say, that they had the script, and I knew the story. Uh, but in a sense, you don't. Okay. You have a, you have some control, but in a very different way. <laughs> so yeah. How did this story come to you? The f the script. The script it's uh, it's based on a novel by Olaf Nilsson, uh, and it, it's a part of that book and. Um, I read that and I thought it was very nice and the, the very, very down-to-earth characters and a, a very interesting story and a great sense of humor. So that was. Sort of and you wrote the screenplay. You adapted the novel. I did. I did. Great. And what were the biggest challenges for you in making this film? Um, I think there's more or less challenges all the way. I think, like, because I've I haven't uh, done fiction before. I'm not used to having a big crew. I'm not. Used there's many things in that sort of process uh, that I hadn't done before, so it was a pretty steep uh, learning uh, curve. Or what right, yeah. learning curve. Yeah. And what is life like for female directors in Norway? Uh, I think it, to me it's been good. I don't think it has really given me any problems. I wish there were more female directors, but I think there are there are some very good ones um, in Norway at the moment, like uh, Hanna Myhrn, Maria Söda, Margot uh -huh. Green, mentioned a few. So I think there's uh, pretty cool things uh, going on. But I wish there were more, and I wish, yeah. Uh, well, it, it, you know, it, it's always interesting that women directors, you know, it, there's really no mentors for you in terms of just a couple of women in a, a generation older than you, it's not a lot. No. So you tell a story about a young girl's sexuality and you tell it in a really funny way and it's not a subject that we see so much here in the U.S. in a way where it's about empowering girls and not making them feel shame. So can you talk a little bit about kind of what your goals were and, 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 and how you kind of kind of did it in a way so that she would she wouldn't feel shame shame yeah no of course that's very um, that was very important for me that the the Helena who plays the main character should be sort of comfortable and be able to to live after the film is released and everything so but I think it was um, yeah it's something that's not spoken a lot about but it's on the other hand, I try to make it in a way that it's, you don't make a big deal about it. This is how how many girls experience it, uh, and why shouldn't you be able to tell that story? Right. And um, what do you want the American audiences? Like, everyone laughed in the funny places here, you know. Um, what do you want the American audiences to get out of your film? <laughs> I think I, I want them to laugh, obviously, and be, feel a bit embarrassed, and uh, also to maybe look at girls differently. Great, thank you.